In order for you to be part of the group, among the achievers, you always look for something that not normal to achieve. My friend and I went back and thought about it. We were like, yeah, working with Bada actually makes you do that. It, it, it gives you that sort of drive. And the opportunity of Kilimanjaro came across, and we grabbed it. My goal was to, uh, was to raise money for Alzheimer's research. My grandfather suffered from Alzheimer's, and it was, and people just, I, I just want to bring more awareness towards it as well, that Alzheimer's doesn't just affect the person himself, but it's also um, the people around them. We have never done uh, mountain climbing. It was, it was a first time, it was new, and uh, because it's a new, it doesn't exist in the country. We, that what was attracted to us. I started training for, um, with intention to climb Kilimanjaro. I had a minor knee injury, which sort of set back um, my plans. One of my colleagues here, Mubadila, um, mentioned Abu Dhabi knee and sports medicine, and that they've undergone a surgery there, and that, it, that they had a great experience. So I decided to give it a shot, knowing that I had a sort of time limit to not only train, but to, um, to build my, uh, my left leg back to normal, at least, so I can be able to climb this uh, mountain. I remember taking a picture from the plane. From the window, you could see Mount Kilimanjaro. And it's literally, that's when it kicks in. That's when, that's when you get your fears. But um, it, it's, you also get the excitement as well, because you finally see it. This is, I'm gonna conquer that mountain. You get on a bus that takes you to um, the start, and you meet all these other people that are actually climbing as well. You, you go across different uh, terrains going up. You're walking, you're trekking up a steep part of the mountain. That's when we got hit by uh, the altitude sickness. You get that, you get that whole migraine, shortness of breath. Every minute we spend on the top, we lose a level of oxygen, percentage of oxygen in our blood. That's when I started thinking I had to, it was no longer a physical aspect, it was just, it was purely mental. Throughout the climb, we, 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 we were talking about where we're from and what, what we do. And we are telling people about our country flags. Uh, a lot of professional climbers, they come and ask us, which country are you from? Why are you bringing your flag? And then we start telling them we are from UAE. If they don't know, we tell them we are the country who won the expo. So if we pull back, then they're not going to say Ahmed or Ayman. They'll say the group from Badr, the group from UAE, they pulled back. So it was out of question pulling back. You see the sun coming up as you get close to the summit. And the moment you got there, like you actually stop and you think, and say, the first thing that comes to mind is like, am I, am I actually here? Is this it? Did, did we reach? <laughs> until I saw everybody around me just jumping and, and it was, uh, it's like there's cheers. It was a cluster of, of great feeling this time, not a, not a not bad one. It was, it was an incredible moment. Now we are almost two months since we came back and I see a major change in my life, a major change. You start learning to appreciate things a lot more. Uh, you, learn to, um, you, you learn to appreciate what you have my way of looking at myself and my capabilities, the way I look at the life and the world around me is completely different. What I tell someone that, that wants to take on something like this is that you're already 50% there. It, the, the fact that you want to do it um, is 50% of the work. The rest is just preparation. I would like to tell every, uh, every employee of Mubadala, every young UAE national, uh, every expat living in this country, they should try it because it, it will make you a different person. It will change your perspective. It makes you a better person, if I believe so.